Hello everybody, I have a new game for you, so, um, oh wait, let me do the, actually launch it, sorry, whenever you new game pops up, anyway, welcome to Let's Play Markiplier the Game. Now, this is actually my second time recording this, um, the first time, I recorded my face cam and the game separately, but the face cam is recorded MP4. Ah! And, as you might know, Sony Vegas does not like MP4, so I had to do this all over again, so, uh, I already know what to expect. Anyway, how I found this game, I found this on, uh, Game Jolt, and, oh yeah, the game is re really, really dark in some areas like this, so I apologize for that. I probably should have turned my gamma up or something before recording, that was my mistake. And yes, I just moved that, those shells, with just my bare fists. But, um... Right over here is not so dark, although it actually has decently good atmosphere, I think. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can hear this, but, uh... It seems like the step sound alternates every, like, two steps. But yeah, the game of this, or goal of this game is to collect... Five other wharf sashes Mark had lost. I really should stop putting these damn notes everywhere. People will start thinking this is another slender game. Uh, anyways, I should keep moving, Mark. Um, you probably want to put some punctuation in there, just saying. Um, this video will also be going to the developer. I just want to give some, like, feedback. I mean, I know this is, like, this is supposedly his first game, and I can definitely tell that. Some of the map design is actually pretty alright, but uh, it could use a lot of work. And hello, creepy little girl. Poof. Aren't you cute? Um, I'm not sure if that's some kind of glitch. But whenever you use the, uh, or just use your use key on the girl, you get put into this room. It's the same if you click on the door. So, I don't know if that was intentional or not. This is too dark to read, for me. It's probably brighter for you guys than it is for me, but it's just too dark. You might want to, uh... If I have to give the developer one tip, it's to work on your lighting. I mean, lighting is very hard to do, I understand, but it needs a lot of work. The only reason I know to go down here is because I played this before with a lot uh, higher gamma. So I know there's a door there, I don't know if you guys could see this. And then, everybody's favorite. First person platforming! I don't know what the hell the point is with uh, this room. I just don't see it have anything to do with Markiplier and the fact of the texturing. And the near impossible, or possibly impossible, uh, platforming. I mean, that part was easy, although that jump was a little difficult. This jump, I have not been able to make. Oh! Oh! Finally, I made it! Before, what I had to do was I had to jump from that platform down here. That was actually relatively easy. So I'm glad this is actually possible, although it is way too difficult. I'll just sum up everything, I guess, at the end. Now, I found this on Game Jolt. I will leave the uh, link to get it down here in the description so you all can play it. It is a really short game. I mean, it probably isn't going to last like six minutes. So, yeah, it's just something to simply try, maybe enjoy a bit, and probably never think about it again. Also, for a Markiplier game, though, I was expecting more, uh, something at least scary other than just dark environments. But, I know, that's not necessarily needed. And that's the last one. Hi, Mark! If you're playing this, I would like... If you're playing this, I would like... Just like to say, thank you. Thank you for all the amazing content you have created. I know this was a silly game, but it's my way of thanking you! I can't believe I've read this even though this is the developer's notes to uh, Markiplier. Thanks for playing my game. I hope you enjoyed. We all love you, Mark. Heart. Okay, I'm just gonna say, this is actually a relatively interesting room. I know it's extremely basic. 
but just a bit of lighting on a completely grayscale room is actually interesting. Anyway, um, with this game, firstly, I just want to point this out. Escape does nothing in this game. That really bugs me. There's no way to open up a menu or anything like that. If you have some menu to close the game, resume the game, maybe change the uh, brightness and gamma and stuff like that up, that would be really nice. And it is a Unity engine game, so I'm pretty sure you can do that. I've never worked with Unity, although I have seen Unity game engines that do that, if I remember correctly. I honestly don't know or remember right now. I'm really tired. I apologize for that. Um, map design-wise, it was actually decent for a first go. Uh, Atmosphere-wise, like some of it was dark and creepy if that's what we were going for, but the execution could have been much better, like that little girl. Um, I literally could have just turned around, watched her, and she would just teleport. That was... It's kind of difficult at first to uh, get pre-scripted sequences to make it so when the model is out of the player's field of vision, that then it can teleport. Or maybe you could just make it so you couldn't, or maybe the light's like blacked out or something, that's just a suggestion, if you really were trying to start on the player. And lighting balance. You need to work on lighting balance. Um, some areas were just simply too dark. Like I said, when I first recorded this, I had to turn a gamma way up just to see something in the first room. When I was first playing, I, had, I thought the first room was empty, like that was the entire game. So you should fix that. Um, there was another thing. Oh, yes. Where did the platforming come from? I don't get the point of that. The uh, platforming... No, I'm actually going to close out of this game. This is kind of unneeded now. Um, I guess I'll just leave it like this. The platforming, firstly, first person platforming really works that well. Especially with how difficult some jumps were. Like in the first section, you thought jump I had to do a couple of times. That was more difficult than it should have been. The texturing was really lazy. I mean, I guess if you're going to... Shut up, phone! I guess if you're going for something more comedic, I guess it could work, but I just don't see the point. So, my suggestion is, fix that up a bit, maybe even just omit the entire platforming, make some more environments, maybe make it a bit more creepy, because this is a Markiplier game, Markiplier does focus on horror a fair bit. Anyway, that's enough suggestions for now, thank you for watching, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and you know what, I'm just going to do this as an outro music, just because. Once it pops up, it is a Markiplier game, so, thank you for watching everybody! If you want to see more, subscribe, like, everything like that, if you want to play it, it'll be down in the description. So anyway, thank you for watching, and bye bye